In this part I'm going to talk about some of the most common legend type stories, which I mean by that, not quite as likely to be factually true, but maybe based on a little bit of real stories. The most common legend story that I have heard time and time again is somebody always has a story of their great grandma and great grandpa's farm or their great aunt and great uncle's farm where I hope I'm not going to get stuck here where uh, Jesse and Frank stop by for the night but it usually goes like uh, two strangers stop by for the night at the farm and they didn't know who they were and they asked for a place to stay for the night and the people on the farm treated them really nice, maybe fed them supper, let them sleep in the barn overnight, and then in the next morning uh, had breakfast with them and meanwhile told the two strangers a tale about how they were going to uh, lose the farm because they owed several thousand dollars to uh, whoever, the property tax guys or whatever, the farm was in trouble and uh, needed a couple thousand dollars cash to not lose the farm. And then the next morning after breakfast, they would go out They would go out to the farm, to the barn in the farm, and uh, find a bag of money, which is just the exact amount of money they needed to save the farm. And uh, I've heard it in various places. I've heard that the story took place in a farm in Iowa, Missouri. I don't even remember the other places, probably like Kansas and the surrounding states. And there's another story that I think probably tends to be a lot truer because there's multiple instances of this happening and it sounds a little more logical. What happens is Two strangers come to the farm and uh, need a place to stay overnight because they're either on the run or just uh, traveling to a bank robbery or whatever like that and they happen to be Jesse and Frank James and then the next morning after they sleep in the barn for the night they get up in the morning and have breakfast with the farmer and his wife and the family and uh, Jesse James puts down a $20 bill on the table, which would probably be the equivalent of several hundred dollars in today's money, and he tells the people, my name is Jesse James, and here's 20 bucks. I thank you for your hospitality and your kindness, but if you tell anybody we were here or which direction we were going, we'll come back and shoot you. And uh, that story seems to me to be a little bit more likely to be true, and the 20 bucks probably is a uh, was a huge amount of money for that time, so I think that story kind of little by little got translated in the retelling to them leaving several thousand dollars and saving the farm. Now I'm not doubting if any of their own family or relatives needed a couple thousand dollars to save the family farm, or even for that matter to purchase the farm they wanted to purchase, they would have no trouble out of their robbery proceeds paying for that because after all, money didn't cost them anything other than taking a chance on getting shot. But as far as uh, just being kindly and helping out a stranger, I'd say not quite so likely, but uh, as usual, I welcome anybody that has another story or anybody that has any kind of proof or uh, some kind of documentation that that actually happened that uh, Jesse and Frank James acted like Robin Hood and just uh, were kind enough to help out a stranger and give him several thousand dollars to uh, save the family farm. So I'm hoping this whole series invites other people to share their own personal stories. I even had somebody on my last video uh, drop by and make a comment saying that they were somehow related to Jesse James. And I invited them if there's any stories uh, they know of that's been handed down to share their stories. 
I think personal stories always have a little more heart in them than the, just reading stuff from the history books.